We found this old shrink ray machine. Hit undo, hit undo. <laughs> we are back and almost. This is really small. Tiny Circus has launched a Thummy on Kickstarter, link in the description below, and they've sent one over to us to check out. Tons of you have asked me to review the fidget pad, but the Thummy is the micro version that actually works. When I received this and opened it up, and by the way, nice touch with the special edition packaging, very familiar, but this thing was way smaller than I expected. I mean, way smaller. It's smaller than my thumb. Compared to the Game Boy Classic, it's almost 100 times smaller in value. What's crazy is with a flip of a switch, you can play actual games on this little device. Now you're not gonna be streaming it with your friends. Two lines, right there with you, Metal. Asteroid gone. Thanks for the donation, Mr. Beast. On second thought, please do a gaming stream with this. That would be awesome. Yeah. It comes preloaded with five retro games ready to go out of the box with things like tiny blocks, uh, space debris, Thumb gin, you get the idea. Packed in this small device is a screen, an on and off switch, a four way D-pad, two action buttons, and a micro USB port on the bottom. That micro USB port can be used to program it, to recharge it, and to link two of them together to play against each other. I don't have two of these, so I couldn't try that out. A single charge with that micro USB port will give you about two hours of playtime. And inside it has a super small Raspberry Pi 2040 and a bunch of this other stuff as well. You can use the web IDE to program it using MicroPython. On there, you can take all five of those games and modify them, change them, look at the source code to them. You can make your own games from scratch. And I thought it was pretty simple and pretty cool. And I'll put a link in the description below to that as well so you can go check it out for yourself. I ended up making this little like and dislike game on here. It's silly, but that also reminds me to make sure to that like button and subscribe so you can watch more videos just like this one. Now, a couple of downsides. It is really small, so you might lose it. It does come with a little keychain holder piece here that will help with that. The other thing is think about your eyesight and can you see things up close because you will need to to be able to play these games. I have really good eyesight up close and it works perfect for me, but if you struggle with that, that could be an issue. And make sure you have good dexterity with your fingers because the buttons are really small to hit. I do find this thing pretty clever. It reminds me of my childhood with the Game Boy Classic. It is super small. I can take it with me anywhere I go. I can play around programming it. If I can get two of these later, I can play against each other with them with my family members. And most of all, this will be a conversation piece because if I'm playing it somewhere or have it on my desk, I'm guaranteed that someone will ask me about it. It'll start a conversation and they won't believe that you can actually play a game on this itty bitty thing, it is so small. So the real question is, is will my wife who does not get YouTube think this video is any good and? It's okay.